Wait a minute. Confirmed? Off-whites? 2025? Yo, these actually might bring back the sneaker game. So, what's going on with your YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. So, we have a discussion to talk about. Some information that everybody's talking about right now is some confirmed that we're going to be getting some more off-white Air Jordan 1s and also some rumors that actually, these actually might break the internet to be honest. I'm just saying. But alright man, so we did hear news about off-whites coming back. We've been hearing that for a while. We actually heard about the Yellow Canaries was supposed to be releasing. Now that got canned. That got cancelled. So now we're hearing that we're going to be getting another Air Jordan 1 colorway which will be somewhat of a fan favorite I'm hearing might potentially be a OG OG colorway so we're not exactly sure it's gonna be a return or a whole new colorway I mean I wouldn't mind a Chicago colorway I'm just saying I wouldn't mind a Chicago colorway even the UNC's or even the Euros I mean those are the three that came out already but I wish we could probably get something else, man. I, I want another colorway, you know? I'm not sure exactly what it can be, but I'm hearing supposedly like another variation of an OG colorway. Honestly, I really can't think what they would do for an OG colorway. I mean, we got, there's plenty of Air Jordan 1 OG colorways, right? That they haven't touched on off-white. Could we get the breads? Uh, I don't know what they, what could they do with the breads? Because we're supposed to get the 85 high next year too. Black toe, well, I mean, we're supposed to get the reimagines and they're, they already got pushed to 2025, so I don't see that happening. My guess will probably end up being either, either the Shadow Ones or maybe they're just gonna come out with the Canaries or just a whole nother colorway. But yes, there's going to be, uh, uh, shout out to my guy, Nikki B 23 he's the one that told me. I think, you know, he broke the news first about the Yellow Canaries. But <laughs> shout out to my guy, my guy Nikki V. But no, I, I've been hearing everywhere. I've even heard from Mr. Unloved One. So he always anything about Air Jordan Ones, he's gonna break the news. I haven't heard anything about Z Sneakerhead. Usually, if Z Sneakerhead uh, posted, you know it's 100% official. But supposedly it's confirmed. We just don't know what colorway it's gonna be yet. I think it's gonna be Canaries. That's what I'm thinking it's gonna be because I mean they already got something pretty similar to it already that we've seen pictures and stuff like that. I mean, we don't know if those are legit or not, but I'm just saying we. I'm, there's some, even there's. I think there's some at the at the Brooklyn Museum, right? So, but anyways, I'm I'm hearing it's gonna be a fan favorite. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. It's off white, and it's good to see some off white come back. You know what I mean? Like it's it's been a good minute since we had some good off whites. You know, hey, R.I.P. to Virgil. Definitely, definitely been missing him, man, because he definitely you know did some great things for the sneaker game. Miss him a lot. Because ever since his passing, man, nothing's been really been popping or something new, innovative, something different. Like, it's just getting the same stuff over and over and over. The same Travis Scott's over and over and over. But, I mean, I, we'll just have to wait and see if it is. But, yeah, supposedly it's confirmed. I'm not sure if it's going to be a restock. I'm thinking it's going to be a new colorway. Supposedly it's going to be late 2025. So, that's probably going to be around... I'm guessing holiday season, that'd be nice, you know, kind of gives a little hype for the holiday season or just late 2025 sometime. Man, 2025 is looking crazy. I mean, we already got so many Air Jordan 1s. I'm thinking like Air Jordan 1s might come back in some hypes. I mean, we haven't got some good hype on some Air Jordan 1s as of lately. You know, everything's been sitting on the Air Jordan 1s and nothing's been really coming out. It's the lows that's been killing it. Look at the Travis Scott's. That's the only freaking thing. Other than that, no one, no one really feels Air Jordan 1s. It's all about the force. And some other rumor mills that we need to talk about. That That's the reason why I brought out both the Bread 4s. You got the, uh, the 2018, I think, or 17. But this one with the new buck. This is the reimagines, right? Now, supposedly, and I've been saying this for a long time, if these were ever to come out, I mean, the only time we've seen this was, uh, was, uh, was I think it was Virgil's wife, right? She was actually rocking those, and maybe some executives or something from Off-White. But we're supposedly gonna get an Off-White Air Jordan 4 bread colorway? I'm gonna let you guys know right now that that's gonna be major, major, major problems. All right, that's gonna go insane, crazy. It's 
it's gonna cause some problems, all right? Like those will go in, that will literally, if those come out, those will literally break the internet. Like that will be the sneaker of the year, whatever 2025, I know we're getting a lot of great things in 2025, but if the off-white breads actually do release to the public, that will be the sneaker of the year next year. Just to let you guys know, that will be the sneaker of everybody's dreams right there. I mean, we only got one off white fours. It was a women's sizing. I'm so scared to wear these things, man. I swear to God. I, I, every time I seen like uh, a, a used pair of off white fours, they just look rough. So I am just so scared to rock these, man. But anyways, um, but yeah, we only got one off-white four. And this is a woman pair. And this is the one, oh my goodness. People are going bananas over these things. They were going crazy. So if we get an OG colorway bread in the off-white look to it, I'm telling you, it's done, fam. That is done. I'm thinking like some of these colorways that's coming out in 2025, the releases that we should be getting, like it's going to get crazy. Honestly, I'm thinking that some things are gonna get pushed back. I mean, we already saw it with the reimagine with all these shipping delays and stuff like that. I would not be surprised if we start to see some of these releases get pushed back and probably push them into 2026 because if they release all these joints, what else is there to come out? And also another news, all right, another news in 2025, shout out to Z Sneakerhead, he actually broke this down. So we will be getting another Fire Red Fives. Now I know fives are not really all the end all be all. Maybe some people kind of like whatever about it, but I'm just saying we should be at a Fire Red Five, a re-release, which is I'm kind of like, I mean, we just got these in 2020. And this is during a time when the pandemic, people were going bananas for these things. People were fighting in the freaking lines. I remember that, I was there. It was just crazy because obviously the pandemics, everything was locked up. So when they actually was releasing in stores, it was going crazy. But supposedly we're going to get a black tongue instead of the, the 3M, which is kind of, I think the best part about the Jordan 5s is the 3M on the tongue. So for them to not come down and it's going to be black, I guess, man. That will probably most likely going to be end up being a pass for me. I mean, I already got these, so that's one I just kind of don't need. We're getting tons of Air Jordan 1s, Shattered Backboards, 85 Highs, the Black Toes, Reimagines. <laughs> I mean, even the UNC reimagines, I those actually might get pushed back because now we're getting the black toes in 2025. Wouldn't be surprised if they do. Just saying. Um, what is it? Shatter backboards. I think I might have said that. Union ones. Off-white fives. Like, dude, 2025 is going to be crazy. Insane. I just don't see it kind of like really, I don't know. I just, I, 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 I'm hoping it's going to happen and I see it. But I just don't think it's gonna be, I hate to be negative Nancy, but like I just, like for it to come out, there's only so many weeks in a freaking month, in a year, right? So I'm just wondering like, how are they gonna release all these shoes? Is it gonna be all at once? It's gonna get crazy. So I cannot wait for 2025 in February, cause that's when all the heat's gonna start coming out is in around February time and all that good stuff. And that's what I'm hearing too. Uh, I think the reimagined black toes are supposed to be re-releasing around February. So it's going to be right around like, you know, um, like all-star season and stuff like that. Which is also crazy because we're supposed to get the bread 85 high. See what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's everything just keeps stacking one over another. But hey, it's great to be a sneakerhead. I just wish, I just hope that they think that like, I don't know what Nike's thinking. Like, do they think that we got more money next year? Like, are we getting more money next year? Like, how's this gonna happen? Oh man. But hey, it's exciting. It's an exciting time. So hey, anyway guys, just wanna say, I just wanna make this quick discussion. How you guys feel about a new off-white Air Jordan 1? Would you like a new colorway? Would you like a re-release? I personally would like a Chicago 1 re-release because I ain't trying to pay $3,000. So you guys let me know. Anyway guys, and also, off-white breads, how insane would that be? I'm just letting you guys know, that would be bananas, crazy. Anyway guys, hey, just wanna say, I appreciate y'all, I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe if it's your first time here, comment down below, and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at drummerchris 9 g sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jim and Chris. Peace.